Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, where we are in Glitter Gulch Mine, and I have just, just gotten my transformation to the dynamite, where we are going to go boom and wreck some stuff. So I think there's four that we need to do in this level. You can detonate yourself, like that, but it takes up one health. And you're actually missing one... Oh, we finished a Jinjo house. The white Jinjo house. Because there's only one white Jinjo. Forever alone. So this is what happens. And there was a treble cleft on top of that house. I'll have to remember that. Mew, I am grateful for your help. I thought I'd never find my way home. Take this jiggy for your trouble. And then we get a jiggy. Good. Alright, so. There's one thing blown up. Let's go ahead and find the others. But yeah, I can only think of three others that I need to blow up, so. Once I get three, well, we'll see if that's all there is. Pretty sure that's all there is, though. Okay, so the first place I need to go is the fuel maintenance right at the right at the start of the level, just to the left of the entrance. I know that there is a place to go over here that I needed to go. I think it's called fuel storage. Yeah, fuel storage. So doing this will allow us to do something later. Not quite now, but you'll see what I mean later when it happens. Let's get on this thing and do it. And now that that's all done, this box can finally escape, whatever's in it. Mysterious. Alright, and then there's obviously something else blocking its way, but we can't really solve that problem for it right now. Okay, I thought there were notes in here, but I guess there's not. There's just shovels that want to kill me. Let's just run away. Oh god, I don't want to land on the dynamite. Okay, so there's two. Now there's two more. Well, I remember one of them is next to the crushing shed. So let's go do that. Actually, the other one's probably closer. So right around the corner here, there should be another one. Which contains access to a very unfortunate bird lady. Yes, it's right across here. Good. Yeah. And of course, we can swim somehow. I don't know how, it's just a game. Alright, so let's go in here and boom. We'll finish that up later though because I don't really want to injure myself. Let's climb that because detonators are really awesome at climbing hills, even though they're inanimate objects. Crushing shed. Do 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 I think it was this way. Yep, yep, nerp, nerp. There it is. And pew. let's blow that open. Which leads to some area. I can't never remember what's back here. Oh, this is the flooded caves again. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stay out of here. Or maybe not. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe... Where does this go down here? I don't even know. I thought I was done with the flooded caves. Maybe there's something else back down there. But either way, we have to go with Banjo-Kazooie because I can't swim as the detonator. So, 
Let's just leave here. I think that was it. That was one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was four. I don't think there's anything else we can detonate, so... Not that there's anything we really want to detonate, so... Let's go back to Wumba's Wigwam and change back. Let's jump in. Now we have to go see Mumbo, because now we can go see Mumbo. Whee! And we'll solve our problems with Mumbo, and then we will be done using both of them for the rest of the level. And there is actually one annoying thing I want to do in this level, and it's actually the um, ordnance storage, for those of you who know what that is. And I really don't want to do it, but I know I have to. It's probably the hardest Jiggy in this level to get. Aside from the ones that you need to do other levels to get, because technically they are harder because you have to advance further in the game and then come back. They're just long to get. Yes, I want Mumbo's help. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw in Mumbo bag. And he pulls up his pants, and he's all ready to go once he gets his wand. Alright, so let's go and do some magic. Two magic this time. Because I believe this level it's levitating magic. And we have a couple things to levitate. So let's go ahead, drop down. First thing we need is outside the crushing shed. And let's levitate this boulder. Hope this works. So of course the Jiggy Boulder is exactly what it sounds like. There's a Jiggy Trap somewhere in this boulder, and we're gonna crush it out. And by crush it out, I mean grind it out. So it gets lowered in, and because I was smart enough to do this part first, it's gonna automatically move. Keep going. Moving slowly into the grinder. And into the grinder. Where it gets grinded apart and then spat out. Spat out the rock hose. And of course, we got some gold pieces there, so. Now we have to go chase him down. three pieces. And the last piece is over here. Cool. Alright, now we need one more place. Let's go near the train station. Because we have one more thing to levitate. I never actually went in the train station the first time we came by here. But I wanted to save it for when Mumbo was here, so I wouldn't have to go back. But I'm sure I will have to go back, because, well, we fight a boss in here, so. Alright, let's levitate this broken train. Of course, we need a lot of magic for this one. And there we have it. Chuffy the Train is actually incredibly important to this game as it allows you to travel between worlds using, well, the train. Um, there is one world that you can only enter using Chuffy's train and there are other units or people that you need to transfer between worlds using the train. So. 
Chuffy is incredibly important, but we'll see that as the game progresses. Alright, so I'm done with Mumbo now. Um, there isn't anything else I need him for. His job is done. Finito. What's down here? What is down here indeed? I actually don't remember. This is outside the train station. We saw there was a hill up over here. Gloomy caverns. Well, this is this area. Right, what was up here? I never went up here, actually. Oh, this is a generator cavern. Well, actually, I'll come back here first. That sounds like something. While it's on my head. I'll just come back here, warp to the train station, and go up there. Because I know that there's something I need. Like a jiggy or something. Whatever it's called. Okay, so let's go and find Banjo again, which is, well, more than likely where I left him, which was inside Mumbo's place. Unless he somehow wandered, wandered away. Oh, and then of course we try to go to Mumbo's place. Mum, yeah, Mumbo isn't welcome in Wumbo's wigwam, and so you, you just can't enter. And it's yellow to prevent you from uh, doing it accidentally. Okay, so there we go. We are now Banjo Kazooie again. Let's go and explore the rest of the level. And there's still actually one move that we need to learn too, so we'll go find that too. Though that move isn't hard, it's actually a move I don't really want to learn, but it's something I have to because otherwise we can't beat this game. Alright, so moving on over, we're gonna go back and... This is fuel storage, is it? This is fuel storage or the train station? This is fuel storage, what am I talking about? No wonder I thought it wasn't near the world entrance or exit. Well, whatever, while I'm here, there's something else we can do. We blew open this earlier that had the dynamite in front of it, so there's something we can do to it now. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh right, there was also that cave that had that Jinjo in it, and I wanted to blast open before. Over here, I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament. Who am I, Yubi? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice. I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry, I'll get because we're here to smash the cage open. If I must, so let's smash it open. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even gotten a jiggy. Alright, so Canary Mary flies off. Let's see where she flies to after this. Rock! 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 It's actually fortuitous that she's flying over here because I need to go over to the other side and this will let me, sort of. There's Canary Mary. We'll go talk to her in a bit. Just want to smash stuff in here and see if there's anything else we need to collect. There's not anything over on this side, but I thought of something I could break up here. Oh, there was, but it was only feathers. And there's nothing else in this area, so we can just leave. The only thing that you really needed to break open in here was Canary Mary. Some people left her to die with a rock in front of the door that we can only blow up with, a, with an upgrade only Wamba can give us. So, Whoever those heartless people who did that to Canary Mary were, well, it's terrible. Anyway, before we go talk to Canary Mary, I'm actually going to come up here. This is an area I'm going to do next episode, but I'm actually in here just to learn the move so I can just do it. So of course it's an area where you're using Kazooie as the gun. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Um, over here we can learn a move. Oh, 
Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke, just press B to give him a poke. Finding it tough, huh? Looks like you need some rations, okay? And then whenever you talk to him, he heals you up, just like Bottles used to, and uh, Brent Hilda as well. Alright, so now, when we press B, we'll give them a little poke like this. It's good for traveling around, but you also really need it for this next jiggy because you're not allowed to shoot eggs and you have to kill three things. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Switch to regular eggs. Alright, so we're done in here for now. I'll go do this next episode. Um, let's get out of here. Here we have Canary Mary. Oops, I accidentally walked into it. Basically, we can challenge her to a minecart race. So, ready? Three, two, one, go. She flies, we have to tap the A button as fast as we can to move along the little cart here. You don't need to tap it as fast as you can for this one, but it's still good to do it so you don't fall too far behind. So it's pretty straightforward, we take the track all the way around the level. This is what I meant earlier, you can't collect the jiggy while you're on the track, so, and you can't jump off, so I figured I may as well just do it before, beforehand. I'm actually not doing this very fast at all, so I'm not traveling as fast as I could be, but I'm not very good at mashing buttons, so. Let's take the big hill up, where we'll probably lose some speed. Doing the minecart, doing the minecart, doing the minecart dance. Hey! And of course we hit the exit. And Canary Mary had to catch up, but that's okay. Let's let her land. Well, I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew. I'm not sure we want it in that case. Alright, so we got a jiggy. That was a fine race! Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about a race back again? Hop on the cart if you would think you can beat me again. Alright, so we'll do that in a sec, but first we're going to collect this, and then we're going to enter the train station. Because now we can actually do things in the train station. Now that we're not dynamite. There's nothing in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on Chuffy. This is my train control pad, so that's Chuffy. Basically here you can go, Her, you'll have to battle me before you go anywhere. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like you came from inside that boiler. Okay, let's just go inside the boiler. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a Jiggy. Old King Cole, the grubby boiler monarch. Her, who dares enter Old King Cole's boiler? Ahem, I'm Banjo and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. Her, you would, huh? In that case, I'll fight you for it. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. Her, not me, pal, but you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny heads. So, if you stand up here, he can't actually hit you. You have a time limit to do it because it's so hot in here, but the reason I got the grenade eggs before because it does 6 damage to them. The blue eggs deal 1 damage, these fire eggs, um, do they even do anything to them? Fire eggs don't even damage them, but yeah, these grenade eggs deal 6 damage, so, or no great loss, I've still got another. So, if you just hit him with these grenade eggs... Arr, but I don't need arms to beat you. He just gets faster as you go along, but... 
Again, dealing 6 damage per shot is pretty ridiculous. Or, perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. No, you dug your own grave, pal. And when he does that, he just makes the coal happen, and then you have an oxygen level that you have to keep track of, so... Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all, but don't you dare hit anything, I've only just polished. So now we can use the train whenever we want. But we can't now because we only have access to one station, and that's the one in this level. You can't train back to Mayhem Temple. You can only do it from this level and every other level after that. So we got another Jiggy. We haven't got many Jiggies in this level yet. But uh, we will. We will, I promise. Unfortunately, we'll have to do them next episode of Banjo-Kazooie, or Banjo-Tooie, sorry, because we're kinda at 19 minutes already. Crikey. Alright, so on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we're gonna be, well, first and foremost, we'll be re-racing Canary Mary. Then we have a bunch of different Jiggies to find, because this place is big, and I've explored lots of areas, and I don't want to get lost, I just want to do it. So, see you guys next time. What's up the top of this hill? All oh, right, it's just honeycomb. Well, I shouldn't have tried to jump up there just wrong. Anyway, see you guys next time.